Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 49th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on views and we're going to check out how we can insert data in views or you know basically insert data in tables through views right and uh, just as the insert statement is used to insert data in a table it may be used to insert data in a view so i just demonstrate how that works and uh, if you guys remember in the last tutorial we created a view for the employee table in our test database and i named the view emp underscore view and uh, you know it basically had three fields from the table uh, the id field the name field and the email field so to insert data in a view to insert a row i'll type in insert into and then the name of the view which is emp underscore view and then on the next line i'll type in values and within parentheses uh, i'll type in you know uh, three values for the three fields that the that the view holds right so i'll type in 1917 for uh, the id field and you know this number has to be different from you know all the other id values in the table because id field for that table uh, you know that 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 field is uh, the primary key for the table so this value has to be different from the rest of the values and then uh, you know name in single quotes so i'll just type in something like Craig, Craig would do. And uh, then I'll put a comma and then, you know, within single quotes again, I'll type in a value for the email address, something like Craig007 uh, at gmail.com, right? Put in a semicolon and when I execute the statement, I see that in the output section, I get the message that the row was inserted successfully in the table and uh, you know, I'll, I'll insert another row because I basically, you know, th the objective uh, that I had before making this tutorial was to demonstrate to you guys that, you know, if there is a view, in, if there is a row in a table that objects the condition, you know, that was used to create the view, then the row is not returned when you execute a select star on the view, right? So the condition that we had when we created the view was that, you know, the name value, if, if the value is null for the name field, then the row will not be returned, right? So I'll insert a statement into a row, sorry, into the view that uh, values that basically has null value for the name field. So I'll type in 1918 here, and I'll put a comma, type in null for the name field, and uh, just type in something random for the email field, like uh, not available at gmail.com imagine there will be a lot of takers for that email address when i execute that query i see again that the row was inserted successfully but then when i would uh, run a select star on the view emp underscore view i would see that i get the row with id 1917 but i do not get the row with id 1918 and if you guys are wondering what happened then you know this row violates the condition of the view right because the value for the name field is null here so that's why this row won't be returned but this row is definitely in the employee table right so the row was inserted in the table but it just wasn't you know obtained in the result set as a part of this query right so if you if you guys want to see you know what happened to the employee table then of course you can run the select star from employee query and when I execute this, I see that two fresh rows have been inserted. So 1917 and 1918, both rows with the two IDs have been inserted. And uh, the, na the name value for the row with 1918 ID is null. And that's why this wasn't returned uh, with the uh, EMP underscore view select star statement, right? So what we're going to do now is we are going to create another view and uh, it's going to be you know just a little different from uh, you know the emp underscore view but it's going to be a view on the same table so this one is going to have the check option on right and i'll explain what that does or what difference that makes but i'll first uh, get in the basic stuff to create the view create view and then i'll call this one emp underscore view underscore new and uh, then the as keyword and then select and I'll you know still select the same column so ID name and uh, email right and then uh, from and then the name of the table which is employee 
and then where name is not null the same condition but I'll type in three more keywords here with check option and what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that whenever we try to insert a row in this view with the, a null value for the name field then we get an error and the row is not inserted in the table at all right so whereas in the last case the row was inserted in the table but it wasn't returned uh, in the views results set in this case we won't be able to insert the view at all and the insert into statement will result into an error right so let's execute this first to create the view and then let's try to run an insert into query and see what difference has been made so emp underscore view underscore new and then values and then within parentheses type in 1919 as the id value and then null for name and then uh, the email address feel i try something like try this at gmail.com and when i execute this query you see that in the output section i get an error message and the message is the check option failed test uh, emp underscore view underscore new so you know that's the significance of having the check option and uh, this tutorial is running a little long so you know i'll discuss the rest of the stuff about views in the next tutorial maybe and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, you may subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next tutorial